Okay guys, so look, I got this all washed up and cleaned up, but I wanted to show you something. Look at these bearings, right here. Those bearings are completely stuck shut. They don't even move. So this whole piece, along with that pulley, needs to be replaced, that piece. And I, I, I pulled this little gunk out of this hole right here. This right here was in that hole. And it feels like it's some kind of wiring in it. I don't think it is, but when I talk to the people, I'm gonna have to see uh, what's going on with that. But um, as you can see, I washed it up, cleaned it up, and letting it dry. Then after that, um, these parts, so they won't rust, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna spray a little WD-40 on them. You know WD-40 is gonna evaporate anyway, so that'll keep it from rusting some. And I don't know if the WD-40 can help these bearings or not. I'm gonna spray a little WD-40 in those. Uh, but the other thing that I wanted to show you I have my, I put my little uh, pillows down here to help my knees. When you guys reach a certain age, you'll find out what I'm talking about. And regardless of whatever age you are, you best be protecting your knees. I'm going to spray some of this WD-40 in these bearings and see if that'll help it out some. Because those bearings don't rotate at all. None. And either that piece has to be replaced <clears throat> as well. Because the way it looks, it looks like it's pretty worn out. But I wanted to show you something else. Now, you remember I told you this drive belt is all cracked and broke. And so the only way that you're going to get this drive belt out is this pulley. This pulley. That one. Which is bolted underneath, directly underneath the motor. That pulley has to come completely down. Because this pulley, that bottom pulley, you know that's... That pulley is used to drive the mower deck. This pulley goes back there to help. That's your drive belt pulley. That's what helps your motor, your ride mower move. So this bolt has to come out. And then you have to pull this belt off that, this pulley. And then pull it back here. But be careful when you pull it back because you want to make sure that you look at the diagram how it goes because you you have um you got to make sure that you put the pulley this this belt back correctly over these other pulleys this underneath here there's a lot of pulleys under here see look 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 at those i don't know if you really can see it because there's not a lot of light but i'm just gonna let you see what i'm looking at because there's a lot of pulleys underneath here that you have to just simply wind through. See that? See those pulleys up there? See the way that belt needs to be? Because I'm not pulling it completely out yet. I'm going to wait until my new belt comes in. And then I will follow the diagram with the new belt. I will follow the way this comes out and put it back the same way in. All right? All right, guys. I'm hoping this is helping these newbies like me because i'm a newbie i never took this apart in the meantime while i got it apart i'm going to go ahead and replace this filter and change the oil in the air filter so it can be perfectly fine and um <clears throat> i have listen i have nothing negative to say about this this d105 nothing negative to say about this car car this ride mower has been really good to me of course the seats you know you can see the age on it I bought it brand new and it's just been working good for me. But of course, everything wears out. Everything wears out, including this body. So guys, with that said, I'm going to go ahead on and um, get the rest of these parts ordered. And I will talk to you soon. Alrighty? Later. Oh, as always, thanks for watching.